Today I'm showing you my workflow, my entire workflow um, while I write a blog, an optimized blog with copywriting. So here is a worksheet that I use. I'm going to give you the link to this worksheet so you can make a copy and use it yourself. The first thing I do is to go ahead and find my core keyword. What am I going to write about? Which core keyword am I going to use? So today I want to talk about evergreen content. And I'm going to start by looking at how evergreen content keyword is doing in Google search. So if you don't know about how to make a keyword research, you can go to my YouTube channel and find the video that is teaching you how to do a key, uh, how to do keyword research. And you can see the details on that. I'm not gonna touch up on that in this video. Um, however, I'm on Google Keyword Planner. I typed in my evergreen content. That's my topic that I wanna talk about. And I'll see what this keyword, um, if, it is, if it is a good keyword for me to use or not, or what else, what other keywords I can use. So get results. And now this is gonna show me the average monthly searches and competition for this keyword. You always wanna select a low competition and high search volume keyword. So competition is low, which is great for evergreen content. And the average monthly search is 1K to 10K. That's pretty good. Um, however, if this wasn't good, which I'm gonna go with the evergreen content core keyword, but let's say the competition was too high, or let's say the average monthly searches were very low. What would I do? Then in order to find my core keyword, I will go down and see what other low competition, high search volume keywords there are. And most of them are like 100 to 1K, right? So let's say if I didn't do just evergreen content as my keyword, core keyword, I would do evergreen content examples, right? Because that's low competition and that has some search volume as well. But anyway, today for this video, we are gonna use evergreen content. So I'm gonna go back to my worksheet and I'm gonna type my evergreen content as my core keyword in the um, core keyword box. The next one is my headline. So I'm gonna find the headline that is optimized, meaning with using my keyword, I'm going to think about what my target audience may search on Google by using this core keyword. I can think of what is evergreen content. They can search for that. Um, they can search how to write evergreen content. Um, if I was to use the core keyword evergreen content exam as examples, I could have written what are the evergreen content examples and so on. So today I'm going to say what is evergreen content. And next thing I'm going to look at is my hook. And for this, if you have writer's block, especially like me, which is pretty common, pretty frequent for me. What I do, I grab my captivating headlines worksheet or list, I should say, template. And I look at these high converting headlines, meaning these headlines are proven to make your reader read longer, right? That's the whole point of you writing a headline and a hook is to keep them read longer. So we're gonna see if we can apply some of these to our, um, what we're talking about basically to grab attention of our readers. We could have said get the secret of getting, okay, I could use this. The secret of getting um, warm leads in your sleep. Now I wanna read it, right? Um, a little mistake that cost coaches and freelancers thousands of dollars a year. That's my target audience, coaches and, freelancers, 
they will be interested, right? Um, advice to advice to coaches and freelancers who want to get warm leads. Do you suffer from trying to find ideas to create content every day for social media? I could have said that. There's so many that you can say, right? We can go on and on and on. Let's say I'm going to go with, this one is another one here. Guaranteed to bring you warm leads without social media. Here. This is the one I used. Okay. So I put that for my hook and then I'm going to explain briefly what this content is about. What am I promising you? What are you going to get out of this when you read this piece of content? So for that, if you're tired of creating content and engaging constantly on social media to get leads, there are many other strategies you can use. Today, we're going to talk about evergreen content and how you can get organic passive traffic to your business with evergreen content. And then next thing we're gonna explain is why you're writing, writing this content. Well, he, my purpose is because many new entrepreneurs struggle with marketing their business online. First thing they do is to get a new so uh, get on social media. Worst thing is that they end up relying on social media only. Here's a very powerful strategy: evergreen content. Mm hmm. Now we're done with our entire hook portion. Now we're going to our body, and we are going to think about our second heading. Why are we doing a second heading? To segment our content and to make it easier for our reader to read. Um, let's say how to create evergreen content. I'm sorry, here, I wanna change this to, what, how to use, uh, evergreen content examples, actually, we can do that. Because I want to use, you can always move everything around. I want to use here, what is evergreen content? Because I'm going to, I'll show you what. What is evergreen content? That's my heading too. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use bullet points to make it easy for my um, bullet points. Okay, what is evergreen content? Evergreen content is content that lasts forever. And then my next one is content that is searchable. And the third one, let's say content, content, sorry guys, I can't say, content that is relevant. Yeah. So those are gonna be our bullet points and we can elaborate on these more if we want to. So I'm not gonna go to that portion much, but it, basically this is for you to have a good workflow and not to get stuck. So keep it going, right? And then we're gonna have another heading. How to create evergreen. You get the deal. And then we elaborate on that. And then once we're done with that, we are gonna go to our conclusion and we're gonna talk about, we're gonna conclude it. We're gonna talk about what we just talked about briefly. Um, and then we're going to get to our call to action. Always give one call to action. Um, it could be, so I could say something like, start by watching my YouTube video about how to create sellable 
content. And then I'm gonna put the link. YouTube, Karma DNA, blah, 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 blah. So that will be it. And also anchor links. These are the links that I want to put in, like sprinkle around in my content, the links that I could link to my own content or links that I link, link to um, outbound links, right? Um, well, I hope this helps. And this is my workflow. It kind of helps me keep going with some ideas. Definitely try it. I will put the link below. Thank you.